What is up guys, Charlie Pang is here. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Why am I doing this with my hands? I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited to bring you guys another tutorial, by the way. I love doing these and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to add grain to your photos using Photoshop CC 2018 version. You can use the older versions if you want to. It's really up to you, whatever tickles your fancy. I haven't said that in a long time. I don't think anybody has said that since like 2003 maybe. Um, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna do what I do best, which is tutorials, and I'm not gonna try to be a comedian anymore. <laughs> What is up guys? So we are in Photoshop now and I'm using the latest version, but you don't have to use the latest version. So if you guys have an older version, do not worry. You can still follow along the same. It does not matter. So today, as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you how to add grain and you guys are probably wondering why am I not using Lightroom? Now you can totally use Lightroom and I love Lightroom so much. It's such a powerful tool. But it's important to note that you could do this in Photoshop too, which is why I'm making this tutorial because you don't have to use Lightroom. So, for, so this tutorial is mainly for the people that only have Photoshop and they don't have Lightroom. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get started. So this photo I actually found on unsplash.com. I will link it in the description below. This video is not sponsored by unsplash.com, by the way. I just actually love using their website. Uh, here's a photo that I pulled up on a 1920 by 1080 document and we're going to be applying a grain filter to it today. Um, before we do that though, the one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is my layers palette on the right hand side. As you guys can see, I have this photo. If you guys pay really close attention to this photo layer, it's not a smart object. And the problem with that is if I wanted to add grain to it right now, it would be destructive, meaning um, it would be a permanent change and I can't go back and change the grain. But I don't like working that way because if I want to go back and adjust it, I want to be able to do that. So basically all we have to do is make it into a a smart object then we can go up to filter and add that grain so so what I want to do is hold in control and then once I see that little menu icon pop up I just want to right click and then I can go to convert to smart object okay and then once you do that you're gonna see this little weird page looking icon appear and it's gonna be highlighted white and that's how you know it's a smart object so now what we can do is we can work non-destructively because again we don't want to actually add grain and then if we need to make a change later we can't do that because we didn't make it a smart object so this is a really important step another way you can add grain though is by creating a new layer filling it with black or white and then adding the grain that way and then adding a blend mode to it but that's a lot more complicated so this way I'm showing you is a lot easier anyway so now what I want to do is make sure I'm selecting my photo layer which I am I want to go up to filter and I just want to go down to noise and this is where all the magic is going to happen we're going to go to noise and then we're going to go to add noise and a lot of people actually don't know that add noise is the same thing as grain but it is the same thing as grain with a few adjustments so we're going to click on add noise and this little box is going to pop up and as you can see we already have this um, noise going on right um, we can make it two different things we can either go to Gaussian or we can go to uniform. What I do is I keep it on uniform and I just make sure monochromatic is checked. If you uncheck it, it will be colored and it will look more like artifacts, um, which is not good. And uh, you see a lot of this when you raise your ISO too high on your camera and you'll get a lot of these different artifacts, which d they just don't look good, you know? So what you do to fix that is you just check monochromatic and that will fix it and make it black and white. So now what we can do is we can just lower the amount real quick. Because, I mean, we can go crazy with it, but that just doesn't look good, obviously. So we're just going to go way down with it until we're happy with it. Just keep going. So even less than that's fine. So about 2.45% is what I have it at. And if I uncheck this preview, you can see the before and the after. And it's a very subtle difference. But the point of grain isn't to go crazy with it. It's just to add a subtle difference to your photo. And to me, it really adds a nice look to the photo. So that's how you add grain. But if you wanted to make any more adjustments, let's say you wanted the grain to pop a little bit more, maybe make the darks on the photo a little darker. What you can do is you can go up to image adjustments and you can go to curves. And from curves, you could just adjust a couple things here. And as you can see, that grain will pop out just a little bit more. And that's just a little trick. You don't have to do that. Um, we can even uh, raise the blacks here, uh, basically making them look a little more faded. Um, this photo really doesn't need it though. Uh, but as you can see, now that grain's definitely popping a little bit more. And if we hide the curves, you can see the difference. So here's the before and here's the after. So it's just a little bit darker. There you have it guys. That's how you add grain to your photos using Photoshop. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like grain as much as I do, say I love grain in the comment section below. I'm just kidding, you don't have to do that. That'd be weird. Just a bunch of people saying I love grain. I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching.